Here are the 10 best examples of how artificial intelligence and machine learning are used today. Hi, I'm Bernard Ma, and I am the author of the book Artificial Intelligence in Practice. And what I did in this book is I looked at 50 different companies and how they're using AI today to make a real difference and drive success. So in this video, I want to give you an overview of some of the top 10. So the first companies, the first 10 companies I talk about in this book are what I call the AI trailblazers. So some of the companies that really embrace artificial intelligence. So here are my top 10. Number one, Alibaba. Alibaba is China's uh, e-commerce platform company. They actually are so successful and in terms of volume, they're making more than, they're selling more than Amazon and eBay combined. So a massive company. And they're using artificial intelligence every day to predict what we might want to buy. But they're also using artificial intelligence to even automate the product dis description. So this, they're using natural language generation to write a product description that even some of the, their suppliers can now use. They will automate this and potentially even customize this for different individuals looking at their site. They're also venturing out, offering AI to farmers. A big project is around what they call the, the Alibaba city brain, when, where they're now offering artificial intelligence to cities to, to create smart cities across China and across the world. So a great example. Number two is Alphabet or Google. So Alphabet is Google's parent company. What they are doing is they are focusing a lot on self-driving cars. So they have the Waymo company that is now offering self-driving taxi services in California and they're driving real passengers every single day across certain parts of California. Another example within Alphabet is DeepMind, a company that, that Google purchased a while ago, and they have developed an algorithm to play the ancient, uh, the ancient board game Go. This is something that lots of people thought was never possible because they felt that this was done so intuitively that machines couldn't learn it. Now they can. And one of my favorite recent examples is Google Duplex. This is a voice interface, almost a voice assistant that can now make phone calls on your behalf. So it can book restaurants for you. It can book hairdressing appointments for you. And the other person on the line wouldn't even know that this is not a real person they're speaking to. Number three is Amazon, a company that really thrives on artificial intelligence. They use it for a lot of things, including what they now call anticipatory shipping. So they are getting so confident about understanding you as an individual and what you're going to buy that they're starting to ship things towards you before you've even made a decision to buy it. Another great example is their Amazon Go shops. They have physical locations where you go shopping but you have no checkout. Again, everything is done using AI, machine vision. So cameras will watch you. They scan you when you walk into the store. They will watch what you put into your shopping basket and then you walk out and it will charge you accordingly. So a great example of AI in practice. Number five is Beidou, the Chinese search engine company. So you would say they're the Chinese Google equivalent. And what they are now doing is they're using AI to clone your voice. So they only need a slip snippet, like three and a half seconds of someone's voice, and they can now clone this. So what they've recently released is a tool that reads books to you but instead of having an artificial voice reading it, you would hear the author's voice reading the book to you. And this is all automated, so another great example. Number six is Facebook, a company that has invested hugely into artificial intelligence and machine learning, especially the latest technology around deep learning technology. So they have developed a tool called Deep Text that now allows them to automatically understand not only what you're saying in your Facebook posts, but also the sentiment and 
the, the meanings behind what you're saying, some of the emotions that you portray when you say something. They've also invested in deep face. This is a technology that allows Facebook to recognize your face anywhere on the internet. So once you've been tagged or you've uploaded photographs, they can then create a 3D image of your face and then see where else do you appear to make new friend suggestions. And actually, Facebook's face recognition capability is now better than human face recognition capability. So another amazing use case. Number seven is IBM. IBM has a very long track record of using artificial intelligence. They've used it to, to defeat Garry Kasparov in chess and have always posed these man, man versus machine competitions. Most recently, they have done the project Debater. This, this was amazing because basically what they pitched is their Watson cognitive computing engine against two human professional debaters. So these everyone was given a number of topics and then they had to do the research, come up with their arguments and then convince a live audience of their arguments. And then the audience would vote which one um, convinced them the most. And surprise, surprise, their Watson cognitive computing engine can now do this. It can do the research by itself, come up with the right arguments and actually present this to a live audience, which I think is an absolutely amazing use case. Number eight on my list is JD.com, another Chinese e-commerce giant. Their founder, Richard Liu, actually said that he hopes his company would be 100% automated in the future. So they now have warehouses with no one working on it, completely automating things using artificial intelligence. And they have been using drone deliveries for the last four years. Amazon is sometimes getting the press headline saying, oh, we're thinking about drone deliveries. JD.com is using this technology and this has been operational for a long time in China. My number nine is Microsoft a company that focuses hugely on artificial intelligence, um, not only as a company that offers this as a service to many of their clients, but they also see this as the future of, of software, where the latest um, office tools now have AI-enabled capabilities in it, from spell checkers to understanding how you use the tools and making recommendations. Number 10 is Tencent, the Chinese social media company. They have created WeChat, something that is probably WhatsApp and Facebook and Twitter and all the other platforms combined into one. They now understand huge amounts of information and insights about their customers. And they've also started to integrate this with other things like pay processes. So you can now use WeChat Pay to pay for your medical bills. But they're also venturing into completely new areas like self-driving cars is a big focus. Um, AI-enabled chatbots is another. So hopefully this has given you an idea of what my top 10 use cases around AI are. They're all featured in my book, Artificial Intelligence and Practice, but there are 40 others that you will hopefully find interesting. If you would like to learn more, head to my website at bernardmar.com where you can find tons of articles, white papers and videos that will give you a lot more insights into real world case studies and examples.